If you've taken the pulse of medicine lately, you've probably noticed healthcare has gotten a digital makeover. From wearables that track our wellness to the rise of telehealth, we're more connected to vitals and virtual care than ever. And for providers, automation unlocks efficiencies from billings and records to the manufacture of life-saving therapies. In the United States of automation, the prognosis is good. If the last few years have taught us anything, it's that innovation in healthcare has far-reaching implications, especially when time is of the essence. At the startup Solaris, engineers are helping cell therapy manufacturers by becoming manufacturers themselves of highly efficient modular factories that can multiply the ability to save lives. In 2019, we started Solaris. We're on a mission to accelerate access to life-saving cell therapies. And really what's been blocking access to date is the fact that cell therapies are very, very expensive to manufacture. And it's very difficult to make these personalized uh, therapeutics at large scale for hundreds of thousands and ultimately millions of patients. Cell therapies today are manufactured one patient at a time in centralized manufacturing facilities using very manual methods. And what comes out at the end of that process is one drug for one patient. What we've created at Solaris is really a step change in technological capabilities. So we fully automated cell therapy manufacturing from start to finish. But so it's got the ability to produce 16 batches for 16 different patients simultaneously. What we want to reduce is the amount of process failure that currently occurs during manufacturing of these cell therapies. And the most likely causes of process failure are human error and product contamination. This robot can operate day and night, 365 days a year, plus the fact that there is a relatively compact footprint and this can be deployed. All of that translates to lower cost of therapeutic drugs and therefore wider access to the patient population. All this innovation brings the promise of improved outcomes. It also asks more of the connectivity and processing power providers need to keep pace. For perspective on that, we turn to Joe Drygus, who monitors healthcare IT trends for AT&T. One of the most important aspects of automation is reliable, high bandwidth, low latency connectivity. And AT&T is making a significant investment in building out our fiber footprint in the United States. It's really vital for automation that patient data is kept secure. AT&T is working with companies to provide security embedded in our technology like connectivity. For example, in a healthcare provider environment, we can pair secure connectivity with edge computing so that the data never even leaves the hospital, keeping it much more secure than if it was to go out on the public internet. Software and connectivity is a huge part of what we're doing here. At the moment, pharmaceutical companies are generating between 400 and 600 pages of paper-based batch records every time they make one dose for one patient. Now imagine making 100,000 patient doses and you're writing 100,000 books of documentation. Our software actually transitions the industry from paper-based batch records to electronic batch records, and then also auto-populates about 80% of the content so the software knows what did we do to the product at what time. A lot of healthcare providers talk about the need to remove the day-to-day -day mundane tasks from the field because a lot of nurses and clinicians say one of the major reasons they're planning on leaving is because of the absence of automation. So we really believe that automation is going to help propel these organizations to be able to move forward in spite of all of the change and all the turnover in healthcare. Taking a look at the cell shuttle, explain what is going on in here from the time that that specific cartridge gets inserted into the shuttle. Yes, there is a robotic arm in there that transports single-use cartridges which contain patient product to be processed. The instruments that are contained in the cell shuttle can perform about 90% of the cell therapy workflows known today. We also have instruments to perform quality control analysis. Oh, so you can check on the status as it's happening. If something isn't going right, you don't have to continue the hours-long process that isn't going to end up working. That's absolutely right. 
Okay, so this is where you program in the exact treatment for the patient? That's right. So here you can see there is a feed-through space where the consumable cartridge is loaded and that consumable cartridge will hold the blood that comes from that patient. The same consumable cartridge is where that blood is going to be processed inside the cell shuttle and after the cartridge is going to be returned to the operator here and it's going to contain the therapeutic doses that then are shipped to the hospital cancer center for infusion into the patient. One of the things that healthcare enterprises need to keep in mind with processing all this data is that you need reliable, high-speed connectivity in order to underpin automation. AT&T helps connect healthcare organizations to the cloud in high bandwidth, low latency ways. We're creating an ecosystem of technologies here, and the software certainly interfaces with many players in this ecosystem. So we're generating vast data sets. And by being able to connect what did we do in the manufacturing process to what impact did that actually have on the patient, that's going to enable our biopharmaceutical companies to make better cell therapies by understanding better what really matters in the manufacturing process. If we're looking at the industry today, there's patients dying needlessly even though there's FDA-approved drugs on the market because the industry can't manufacture cell therapies at large scale. Ultimately, this is a complete revolution in cell therapy manufacturing technologies that will be the de facto standard for cell therapy manufacturing moving forward. And the impact of the work that we're doing at Solaris will be that hundreds of thousands of patients and then over the years millions of patients will live that would have otherwise died because of the manufacturing model. At the cellular level and in the connective tissue that moves medicine forward, automation offers surgical precision at speeds any manufacturer would value. It would be a medical marvel if engineers hadn't designed these new tools to perform as if lives depended on them.